I lost my job last night. Last night. Picked up my paycheck, but 35% of it gone already because Uncle Sam didn't get paid yet. WTF Vapors here, I'm homie. Skeletor. How y'all doing out there today? Welcome, 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 welcome. We are reviewing a very good juice by the name of Duke, and it's by Gonzo Vapors. Now, the profile reads, a perfectly layered fruit medley of apple, peach, strawberry, that yields a bright and fresh flavor. What do you think? It's very bright, very, it's very in there, a lot of flavor. It tastes like a Washington apple right before it gets ripe and not too green. Like it has that, that kind of little bitter to me, but it's really fruity. You know, uh, with the apple, I get an actual complete sweet apple with it. It's really weird, the difference. But the peach on the exhale is what gets me. It's what, it's what makes this an all-day vape for me. I, I, I tell you what, at first, when homie first brought this over, uh, I took a smell of it, and right away I thought kiwi strawberry. But, and as I tasted it, I was like, well, it's kind of different. I taste the strawberry. There could be some kiwi in there. But then on the exhale, I first thought it was pastry. And I really didn't read anything on this until just a few minutes ago to find out what it is. He but was a as, little off. Uh, a little off? I was trying to be nice. <laughs> That's way off. Anyways, uh, so... It's go. But, oh my God, it's, it's very... It's not really candy-like, though. That's what's the best part. It's not. It don't have that candy taste. It, it has a fruity taste, but I, too, taste something bitter. I don't get it. But uh, my flavor might be mixed because I am tasting a kind of a sour, drinking a sour energy drink. Oh, me, drink. too. Me, too. I mean, but I tell you what, the uh, the blend is a 78-22, and we have it on a 3 nick. <laughs> Excuse me. I get good. <laughs> wow, that hit me in the throat. Yeah, I get good cloud production. Uh, I got the new Patriot that came in the vape mail. I got it sitting on top of the Colonial. It's a Colonial Patriot. Patriot. <laughs> colonial Patriot. Can That's awesome. Out? No, I there couldn't. We, go. we got Colonial, and then we got Patriot. And I'm vaping on the usual for me, the Hades Mile 26650 with the Mutant X version 2. Got to keep it. I love the clouds it gives me with any vape, any juice. It gives me great clouds. Good hands to y'all with the Mutant X. I give them that. And I do want to give a shout out to Kevin. Thank you. He's the one who gave us these juices to review. And we got another one coming up. Another Gonzo liquid. This one's called Screw Jack, but we'll get to that later. Uh, you know, I, I like the flavor. I can do this as an all day vape. It's $12.99 for a 15 mil, which isn't bad. That's premium price. And it is a decently premium juice. I mean, even for a, a 7822, if you look at the viscosity, it does look kind of thin, but the, the cloud production makes up for it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing on a constricted tip here. True. It's nothing big like a big chuff tip, but I get decent clouds from it. I would go ahead and hork on this thing, but I've noticed that the Patriot has a little bit of a whistle. You know what? Fuck, I'm going to hork on it anyways. Go ahead, whistle, whistle. It whistles. Well, if you, if you lose him in the crowd, just listen for the whistle and you'll find him. And the Mohawk, too. You know you like it. You know you like it. I wear hats for a reason. Hey, got it, flaunt it. I'm a buzzsaw, baby. All right, so on a scale of, <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10 WTFs, homie, what do you give it? I give it a 5.5. It's not a, it's, it's not an all-day vape for me. It, it, it's... it's it gives me an aftertaste that I it won't I'll get tired of. Okay. It's not a flavor for me from my taste. That's my opinion. You might love it. He loves it. Skeletor. That's his. We all have our opinions. That's why we do this. We want to give our own opinions out there. And it's not me and all day vape. But hey, if I had it, here. I would vape it here and there. Mm -hmm. And it's a good vape. Don't get me wrong. But that's my opinion. And how do you feel about it? What is your WTF scale? My WTF scale is an eight and a half. Um, I like it. It's a good all day vape. I don't get an aftertaste that's too uh, uninviting to me. Mm -hmm. I, I like it. It's an all, you know, I, I will definitely purchase this in the future. It will be on my shelf. It will be um, in my rotation. So uh, let's see, you gave it a five and a half, mm -hmm. you said. I gave it an eight and a half. 
There you go. Uh, Gonzo Vapors, you did a good job on this one, in my opinion. Yes. Not so much on homie's opinion. Homie don't play that, but you know what? Shit happens. All right, cool. Well, signing off, I'm Skeletor. And I'm homie. Like old friends, here to relive.